year 12 uh, physics class. Welcome to Pal Education virtual class. As promised, I will uh, finish off our lesson on space um, on a part relating to gravitational potential energy. In this section, I guess we need to understand um, in more in a clear perspective of the requirements of your 12 syllabus on gravitational potential energy system. So, before we go and understand the um, year 12 syllabus, I'm going to take you through and revise you on year 11 first, um, on the year 11 preliminary work. First question to you is, as you can see here, what is GPE? In a nutshell, GPE, or gravitational potential energy, of an object is the amount of energy that is stored by that object in the gravitational system of a planet such as Earth. So here it is. Okay, so as it says here, it's the potential energy contained by mass due to its position within a gravitational field. Now, in year 11 work, quantitatively, how do we measure this GPE? So we're interested now to recall how we actually quantitatively measure the value of the GPE of, of an object um, when we were looking at it from the uh, year 11 syllabus. One must understand that gravitational potential is a stored energy form. It's a potential energy. Therefore, it's a stored energy. So in order for an object to have stored energy under a gravitational field, what must have been done? Well, simply, work must have been done. We must have done work onto that object. So let me give you an example. Here, see, here's the pen, assuming this is the ground of the pen. If I was to give this pen gravitational potential energy, I actually have to put my energy, lift it up to a certain height above ground, and from if this is our ground, it now has stored energy in the gravitational field. Of course, assuming that if I put this on the on a, on a shelf like that, resting like that, that pen now has stored energy, or GPE. Okay, so how do we measure GPE? Simply, we just calculate the work done on that pen. And the work done, you remember the formula? Work done is equal to the force times the displacement. So, what is the force that is required to bring this, to bring this off, this pen from the ground all the way up to here? What is the minimum force required to lift that pen up? Clearly, it's equal to the, the force must equal to the weight force of the, of the object, in this case, the pen. So the weight force of an object is mg. So the distance is h. So clearly then, the amount of stored energy that an object has, if it's h meter above the ground, would be mgh. And here it is. Okay. We haven't calculated yet, if you look at the screen here. Nice and short, I guess. Uh, um, let's consider the object here. Let's have a look at an illustration. The object M is now has been, has been raised from the Earth's surface to a height H above it. We can easily calculate its value by the um, proposal I made to you earlier. So here it is. So as you can see here, from work done, we get a gain in GPE. The gain there for the GPE is equal to MA times H. Why MA? Where does the MA come about? Well, MA is nothing more than the force required. In this case, it may um, MA is, an, uh, is the mass times the acceleration, but the acceleration, as you can see here, is equal to acceleration due to gravity. So that MA is in fact MG, which is known also as the weight force. Okay, if you multiply that by H, you will get your GP MGH. And that's how we calculate the value of gravitational potential from year 11 and below. Okay, so the next question here is, where did we take the point of zero GPE from this perspective, from the above perspective. So when we use MGH, 
where was our point of zero GPE? Well, clearly, as I said to you earlier, we, if we're assuming that this is the ground of this object, the pen, when we raise it up to a height of h meter, then we say that the, the, the body, this pen, this mass, now have work done from here all the way to here, and that work done has been converted to stored energy. So clearly, our point of zero GPE for that pen, if this is the ground, would be the ground. And we say now that the amount of work done from here to here has been stored into the gravitational potential energy. And therefore, the point of zero GPE from the year 11 work is simply uh, on the ground, as shown here, as you can see here. Okay? So there it is.